It's no secret that Ethereum has scalability issues, and that's why Layer 2 solutions like Rollups have emerged. Today, we'll explore the two Rollup scaling solutions, Optimistic and Zero Knowledge Rollups. But before we get into their differences, what are blockchain rollups in the first place? Simply put, they are a type of scaling solution that processes transactions on another blockchain, known as Layer 2s, and then rolls them up into batches for inclusion on the main blockchain. This reduces the load on the main blockchain and provides the benefits of making transactions faster and cheaper, while still obtaining the security of the main Layer 1 chain. The difference between optimistic and ZK rollups comes down to how transactions are verified. Optimistic rollups use a trust-based model in that they are by default optimistic that the batch sent back to the main blockchain by validators is legitimate. Before the batch is included in the main blockchain, however, there will be a waiting or challenge period when other nodes known as verifiers can review the batches and submit fraud proofs if they find that any of the transactions are not valid. Today, most popular L2s, such as Arbitrum and Optimism, use this type of rollup, as they are relatively easier to implement. One of the reasons, perhaps, being that most, if not all, optimistic L2s today use a single centralized node called a sequencer, which submits these transactions, making them highly scalable. However, optimistic rollups also experience some setbacks. For instance, delays in transaction finality as users have to wait through the challenge period, usually up to one week, before they can withdraw their funds. Also, the use of centralized sequencers may lead to censorship and security problems, though most L2s today are looking to gradually decentralize their sequencers. ZK rollups, on the other hand, do not assume the validity of the submitted transactions. Instead, they look to prove mathematically that that's actually the case. So the rollup moves bundles of transactions to layer 2 and generates validity proofs for each one to be submitted on the main chain. This means that ZK rollups need more computational power, hence higher transaction costs compared to optimistic rollups. On the upside, since these validity proofs already verify the legitimacy of transaction data, ZK rollups do not require a challenge period, and so withdrawal periods are significantly shorter than optimistic rollups. Also, since ZK rollups use zero knowledge proofs to verify transactions, they offer improved security and privacy, but are much more complex than optimistic rollups. This complexity affects how flexible and compatible they are with Ethereum, as smart contract capabilities are more challenging to implement with ZK rollups compared to optimistic rollups. So, which of the rollups is better? ZK rollups are widely regarded as the end game of the rollup technology by many, including Ethereum's co founder, Vitalik Buterin. Last year, he said that ZK rollups would eventually surpass optimistic rollups in the long run. Vitalik acknowledged, however, that ZK rollups have yet to mature and are currently hard to build on. Do you agree with him? Let us know in the comments. And make sure to watch this video to find out how zero knowledge proof works and why it's important.